Now let's check in with Caroline Forback live at BWI. And Caroline, we've seen some of the crowds out there today. How's it been the past couple of hours? Well, 30,000 people are expected to fly out of BWI today and tomorrow, but as you know, severe weather could complicate their plans and make for a very stressful trip. Three days ahead of Christmas, and BWI is bustling with people trying to make it home for the holidays. Pretty stressful with two kids, um, so and the weather doesn't help. This weekend, travelers face severe weather locally and nationwide. BWI saw 27 cancellations before noon, according to the Maryland Aviation Administration, mostly flights to the Midwest. We still have this weather system that's traveling from west to east, hitting the Midwest and the Northeast, and so as that as that matures, we will expect more cancellations. WJZ spoke with two midshipmen who were crossing their fingers, hoping their flight would not get canceled. I mean, as much as I love the academy so much, being there for an entire year without seeing your family for the first time is a little difficult, right? Were you nervous that weather was going to disrupt those plans? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think we all were. Uh, we had uh, some teammates that their flights got canceled. We knew about the weather storm. But my flight looks like it should be good. When dealing with severe weather, especially during busy travel times, airport officials recommend getting to the airport a couple hours early and checking your flight status before you leave your house. Aside from that, try to be flexible and don't worry about things you can't control. We always believe that God's plan is always the best. That we're traveling today, we're traveling today. <laughs> Just an attitude of bring your documentation, and if you forget anything else, you can buy it. For those hitting the highways this weekend, officials at MDOT SHA say don't wait. Tomorrow will be worse. Do what you have to do today because we're recommending tomorrow before sun up all the way up through noon. Uh, that's when you're going to get those areas when that when that cold air comes in that could freeze. And if you have to drive tomorrow, MDOT officials say ice can also accumulate on tree limbs and power lines, so be prepared for any unexpected roadway hazards. For now, reporting live here at BWI, Caroline Forback, WJZ. Caroline, thank you. Now, getting our WJZ app is the best way to stay up to date on all things travel and weather. Our First Alert weather team will continue to bring you the latest forecast and how it will impact you. Just scan the code on your screen to get our app.